Hello and welcome to anubotrainings.com. In this video series, we are discussing about how to automate our Fiori applications end-to-end -end with a regression automated testing. By far in these sessions, we have discussed the concepts of testing with Selenium WebDriver. We have automated end-to-end -end applications, both master detail as well as smart filter Fiori apps. In this episode, we will go ahead and discuss how to trigger your test script from an ABAP system. So by far, as you can see, we have created our framework code, which is reading an Excel file and automating our Fiori application accordingly. So this framework is now going to be compiled and kept in the user's workstation. To compile this along with its dependencies, what I've done is in the POM XML, I have also added a new plugin. This is Maven assembly plugin, which downloads all the dependencies and plug them in together with our artifact. Please note that you must have to put here the main class name which you want to execute when somebody execute this particular build file. So this is our namespace and this is our class name, the app.java class, which will be executed when this, uh, which will be compiled when this plugin executes the build process. And once the build process is complete, we are going to see a jar file getting created, which then can be given to your user and then they can execute in their workstation. We will also see how to trigger that jar file from an ABAP system. So let's go ahead and right click and we can say run as main build and use clean compile single colon assembly. Assembly colon single. This is the goal we will run. And now you will see system downloads in the console. You can see the log. System downloads all the dependencies from the desired sources and it will package our jar file finally. So you will get at the end of the day a jar file which is compiled and packaged everything. So all the dependency, all the classes gets compiled and they will be packaged together in a jar file. So let this process run. It will take about a minute or so and the build gets completed. And now you can go back to the target directory of your project and you can find a jar file with the dependencies is created. Let's copy this and put back to our automation folder and here i'm going to just name this as anubav test framework and we are going to trigger this jar file by right click properties go to security and take the address and we will trigger this from our abop system so we switch back to our s4 hana abop system and create a report here z trigger Anubhav framework. Let's create this report program in ABAP. Our test framework from ABAP system. And we will just use a reusable API from ABAP system. It's called CL GUI Frontend Services. And we can say execute. Okay, so bye bye to exception handling for now. And we can simply go ahead and give the address of our jar file over here. Remember, we are now running a framework which is depending on the Excel sheet which you prepare, the test case. And as per my Excel sheet, which is currently kept, it's going to run my sales order application. So let's execute this report. It asked me a permission to trigger this jar file. I say allow. And watch out the magic which happens now from a web system. Voila! It launches the browser, the Chrome browser. It is going to navigate to our application. Yes. And it's going to open our sales order manage application. And in this application, it is going to enter the data as usual. I click on F4 help for date field. OK. 
OK. And finally, it clicks on Go button, and then it selects the record. So that is how exactly your test automation can be synchronized end-to-end -end completely with the ABAP system. So hope you like this whole series of test automation end-to-end -end with SAP Fiori applications. If you want me to create more series like this, please encourage and share this video with your colleagues. Feel free to let me know your feedback into the comment box below. Don't forget to subscribe this channel because it takes a lot of hard work to bring these videos for all of you on the YouTube. With that, Anubhav signing out and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.